Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the ASI number 9030. This is a dual roll paper, uh, tar pardon me, toilet tissue dispenser, dual roll version. This is from their profile collection, and that basically means you're going to have a, l a different design aesthetic uh, to the unit, and namely, you're going to have a flush cylinder sort of preparation on the outside of here, a flush cylinder versus having a large head of a cylinder on the outside. A little hole, a little bit more petite, a little more aesthetically pleasing perhaps. Radiused corners here, also aesthetically pleasing. Okay, This film, this white color you see here of course is just the peel away protective film that covers uh, that is uh, concealing the 18.8 Type 304 stainless steel that is in a satin finish, which is obviously evidenced on the face of the door where it's exposed. You're going to get one key, and this is an E114 key, and that is going to operate almost the balance of the ASI line so that everything is key to light. Accessing the unit, simple quarter turn, the door flips down revealing the inside of the unit. And this is in, this is what the unit looks like. Okay, you've got your two R-004, R-004. In the side it's R-004 spindles. You can buy these separate, you can buy the E114 separate. Both of your spindles will come out for reloading. And we're going to get to the op, you know, let's get to the operation of it now. Then we'll move to the dimensional properties of the item. So this is a dual roll, and what that means is you cannot, um, you can't remove the spindles without lock, unlocking the door. Okay, the the top roll will not drop until the bottom roll is exhausted. So what happens is the bottom roll is going to be somewhere about here because it's, you know. It, it has a full roll of toilet tissue. As that tissue is exhausted, this will of course continue to slide down. Not until it gets down to the bottom area down here will the top one drop. So if I can emulate the proper operation here, I'm going to put this on the desktop and I'm going to pivot the camera down to view this operation. The instructions don't really show how that works. So what you have is your two spindles. You've got one that's here. The second one is kept up at the top. As that bottom is exhausted, it will continue to slide down. The top one will be allowed to drop at that point. The way that that works is, of course, with the lever mechanisms that are referred to actually in the cut sheet, and we'll get to that in a moment, that are in here. And they have protuberances on them that when the bottom spindle falls, it kicks the other one open because of how it's shaped. So it will, it's cut this way, it will fall, allowing, the gravity, allowing gravity to bring the next one down. That's how it works. Very simple, very user friendly. On the inside of the door are printed the installation instructions, the refilling instructions. Remove empty roll from bottom of dispenser, obviously after getting it open. Save the spindle. Discard the empty cardboard core. Insert the new spindle into the new roll and simply load both of your units. Okay, Dual roll uh, toilet tissue dispensers are used in many applications that simply require more capacity to deliver toilet tissue uh, toilet paper uh, than the regular routine maintenance sort of cycle. Uh, if you've got a health club, um, you know, a common bathroom in a health club, you know, that might have, that would certainly have, let's say, hundreds of visitors every day, you're going to need to have a dual roll. You know, a single roll is going to be problematic. So, or even a jumbo roll, roll uh, they're $28.90 from um, ASI. Uh, I said $28.90, that might be incorrect. I'm going to search that just in case you 
are looking for more capacity. Speaking of capacity, uh, I was incorrect. It's an 0039 or an 0042. An 0042 is a single ju jumble roll. Um, and an 0039 or an 0040 will give you dual jumble rolls. Anyway, now the um, dimensional properties of this item are in the link below this video to the document called Cut Sheet that are going to also give you uh, mounting uh, guidance uh, as well. All right, here we go. So the link to the cut sheet is going to tell you, we'll lock that back up, that you've got an overall height of the unit of 12 inch. I'm going to test that now. Yeah, indeed, 12 inch overall height. You'll have an overall width of 6 inch. You're going to have an overall depth of, they've got, looks a it would be six and a quarter. Yep, that would be the case. Maybe a little closer to six and five sixteenths. Profile collection twin hide roll toilet tissue dispenser holds two five and a quarter diameter, up to five and a quarter diameter rolls of toilet paper, a total of 1,800 sheets. 18 8 stainless steel, 18 gauge cabinet body. Okay. Makes it heavy duty. This item weighs practically five pounds. At least it does with its shipping box. All of it is a number four satin finish, all the exposed faces. You've got a heavy duty, you've got 316s heavy duty stainless pins that are down here. Okay. And this would be used in those applications, those higher volume applications. Um, installation. Screws are not included, first and foremost, by the way. You're obviously going to get those, you know, your, your holes located. You've got a small amount of lateral adjustment, but, you know, those keyholes, those keyholes are going to be an issue where you've got to get your screws, get the unit in, down, mark your holes down here, pull them up, re-drill them, that kind of thing, then tighten them down. That's obviously accessed here through the backside. Now, ADA compliance. Should this need to be ADA compliant, it's very likely that it would be. You'd be at 29 inch from the top of the unit to the finished floor. So from the finished floor to the top of the unit, 29 inch, that would be typical. Uh, there is a reference in the cut sheet to the operation and it refers to the label on the inside of the door, which is always there. That's easy. Uh, you don't want to throw the spindles away. That's no, not uncommon for maintenance staffs to do it unintentionally, naturally, is how that happens. There is below this video also, um, you know, just a summary of what is basically on the cut sheet. There is below this video a link to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full line ASI product catalog and review all things cabinet, uh, pardon me, bathroom hardware related from ASI. I'm partial to ASI and it's because they have a confluence of good quality, good price, very good customer service, predictable, reliable lead times. Um, I would give ASI a long, hard look if you're determining which brand to go with uh, on a new project. They're worthy of your business, in my opinion. And uh, if you need any help on the ASI 9030 Profile Series Twin Toilet Tissue Dispenser or any other ASI product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.